Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Business Every Day. We are back in the shop, and today we get to work on a home office type of project. This past week, I was looking on the internet for a stand-up desk, and I found a design of a CNC cut stand-up desk that was modular and had different levels for laptops and notepads, and I thought it was pretty cool, so I began a search for a model that I could start to work with. I found a model, and so I brought that model into Easel, and I began to work with it. The original model that I found was 36 inches tall, and so I decided for prototyping purposes, I would reduce it by 50%. And so the first model that we will be working with is only 18 inches large, and I've adjusted all of the legs and the shelf and to fit that dimension. Hopefully I did all my math correctly, so it all marries the way it should but I think I got it. We're gonna jump on the X-Carve and cut this thing out and see how it all comes together. Let's go. All righty, all righty. So here is the model. Uh, it is a, uh, I don't even know how to describe it, a perforated um, shelf that will have two legs and a stand and that stand right there can then be inserted in all of the different levels and this will make your stand-up desk adjustable in height. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to add some hooks on the side here for the actual model when we get to the larger scale uh, for cords or headphones or something like that. But this is the model that we will be working with. It should take about 24 minutes to cut out. And so let's get to it. So we have a piece of half inch birch ply that we will be cutting today. Well, that's pretty cool looking. Um, there were definitely some issues at the end cutting across the clamp here. But overall, I'm pretty thrilled with how this is uh, looking. So, um, yeah, let's uh, pull this out, clean it up with the sander and see how it looks. I have found spending just a couple of minutes between cuts to clean up your workstation, your work service, uh, really helps in the long term for keeping everything tidy and good to go, functioning properly. All right, let's get to sanding these parts and get it all nice and clean. What 
you think? I'm kind of interested on how this whole thing is coming together. So in the original design, there are two of these shelves. This is the bigger one, which would sit your like keyboard. And then there would be a smaller one um, that would actually have your monitor. And so imagine this one just a little bit smaller. And then this one's a little bit bigger. That would have your phone, keyboard, mouse, and things like that. So, like I said, this is 18 inches, and the real one that I was looking at is 36 inches, so twice the size. What do you think? Well, there you have it, you guys. I think it actually turned out pretty good as a prototype, as a miniature for what it should actually be in uh, its full form. Um, I think it might be worth actually building for real. And that would be in three quarter inch uh, plywood at 36 inches. So this would actually sit on top of a normal desk and then you would have 36 inches of space on top of the normal desk. It's actually kind of cute and a little mesmerizing. I'm, uh, to be honest, it's one of the favorite things that I've built in the last couple of months on the CNC. Now that I have a better idea of how the whole thing is put together, I will take it back to the drawing board, make a few adjustments, and then decide whether or not I want to build this thing full scale. Thank you so much for joining in to today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, learned a little something, and we got to create this little uh, fun miniature prototype together. So you guys have fun, keep carving, and I'll catch you next time.